Frequently, when we're welding or brazing, we'll be working with two different thicknesses. For example, this is 1 8 inch mild steel. And this is 1 16th. This is 1 16th inch RG45, which is a steel gas welding rod. But I'm going to braze it right on there. Now, this is larger, thicker, so it's going to take more heat than the 1 16th inch. Put the same amount of heat on both of them. By the time it's ready to braze, we'll be burning this one up. Also, this has more mass to it, so it's going to take longer to heat this than it is this 1 16th inch rod. Now, one of the first things that I do is I'll use this the brazing rod here as a shield to shield the 1 16th inch so that it doesn't get as much heat. First off, I'm going to come back in here and heat this more towards this side just to get some heat on that 1 8 inch piece. Okay, you can see it there, it's starting to get a little red hot. Okay, it's not going to take any heat to mount anything to heat that 1 16th inch up. The whole thing is to get this piece hot, but not the 1 16th. So just using your, in this case, heating it up back here, so we get the heat that we need, which will transfer up towards the front of this piece, but then kind of shielding this 1 16th inch with the brazing rod. Now this is a piece of 030 wire. This is thinner than a straight pin. But if you had a, an occasion where you wanted to braze that, just heat this up. See, I got it red hot. Just kind of get a glob of bronze on there. Put any heat on this wire and it would just burn up immediately. What I'm going to do is just get this hot, dip it down in there. So you can see that just this, see how quickly that would burn up. Another example of making sure that your heat is on the heavier piece. For 99% of the brazing that I do, I use 332nd flux covered brazing rod. Since I'm using all new material, I scrape most of the flux off. Once in a while, I'll need something a little bit thinner. So what I'll do is, as you can see this, put this on the anvil and I've flattened it out because I want to braise these two 16th inch rods together. I actually could have flattened a little bit more of that out, but by flattening it out, I make it thinner. Once this is cleaned up on the wire brush, you can kind of see the finish here. 
Now ideally I'd like this to be just a little smoother but when you're working with metal this thin there's just not a lot of time. You have to get on and get off.